Hey guys, all right. I finally have a gorgeous day. Um, high is supposed to get around 84 with low humidity, so I shouldn't sweat too bad. <laughs> but I'm out here in my red sorrel patch. I want to call it patch, but it's two rows. Um, and then this last row has cotton. I got a little cotton flower. Um, it's just the one cotton plant. <laughs> I got more in another area, so... But as you can tell, I am like almost knee deep in potato vines as well. But my red sorrel is pretty much ready to harvest. Now with red sorrel, there's two ways you can actually harvest these. One way is you take um, a pair of clippers and you want to clip at the base of the seed the whole seed pod here because what happens is they grow more pods at the at the very base where the stem meets see how this one's growing another leaf right here let me see if i can show here's one that actually has it get it in focus here see how there is a new growth coming so you want to clip it at the very base or just below the base of the seed pod now the seed pod itself is inside this callus and this callus you can see it there this callus is what we use to make the teas um jams it's it's really good it's almost like um it's better than even kool-aid there's a nice big one now another way you can do this is some people will leave the seed pods on the tree so what they do is they actually cut the callus down and around and peel it off well because i have so many seeds I don't need to save any right now. It's still early in the season, but I'm going to go ahead and just clip them for right now. Um, when I notice that the bushes are not producing as many pods, that is when I will stop and let certain pods produce so that way I can then gather the seeds for them. So, I'm just going to go ahead. I got my big bucket today and my clippers and I'm going to get going. Now also too guys I want to mention when you do this, your hands will get stained a little bit red because they do bleed that particular color. Um, so also too, one thing I want to mention is the little ones I leave because you want to clip the bigger ones like these guys. So leave the little ones to grow till they get about that size. You want roughly like maybe that that size or bigger medium or bigger anything with the flowers leave because then they'll grow into the bigger pods that you see here so what i'm going to do is i showed you a couple of clippings i'm just going to go ahead and go through and this by doing this it will also lighten the load as you can tell everything's laying down on the ground when I get into this other side, I'll show you more of what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to go ahead, do this side, and then show you the difference. All right, one side done. And as you can tell, see how much the weight comes off of the, uh, the flowers. And like I said, it will stain. I got a little bit of staining on my finger. It's not bad right now. Um, another thing you want to... Be careful of is they do have 
Let me see if I can find one. A little hairs covering them. And and that's what I got in my basket so far. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see them in the pictures. But if you're sensitive to um to something that's a little thorny see how it's like baby fine hairs you can just see them they're like white near the top over here of the picture you barely see them um they're kind of prickly so when you go to grab them just grab them lightly and i am going to oh, come around to side two if i can get through all this so i mean by it's like knee high in here. I'm just trying to be careful. Oh. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this side. And as you can tell, see how they're all falling down. The leaves are on, or the limbs are on the ground. I'm gonna show you how it all looks once I'm done picking off everything. And then here's the two cat. Oh, I got another one. Oh, there is. There's another cotton one there. Huh, cool. All right, well, gonna fill up the basket. See you guys in a few minutes. So what are you doing now? <laughs> Try to get as many clipped as I can. <laughs> and and uh, I, I'm tying it back because all over here, all this was down. The whole, like, I gotta tie this up. The wow. Start, the potato bites are gonna start climbing up on it. Look at this harvest. And that's just one bucket. Wow. We're gonna, this is gonna be easily, and this is just, and this is the first harvest. You know, this Sweet. ain't gonna include the other harvests. We're not, we're gonna have more than enough for my tea, for the holiday drink, and your jam. Yep. We gotta do a video on your jam. Oh yeah. We'll do a video on the drink too. She made some um, red soil jam that is, oh my gosh, is it good. <laughs> it's getting in my hair. <laughs> the branches are like. And look at this side. I think this side here has more than those two sides put together. Probably. Wow. What you doing, baby? I am peeling the red sorrel. So as you can tell, I've been working at it. Um, it's the next day. We were out late last night harvesting as much as we could. Um, so we got, oh, we throw them in the wrong way. Got me all distracted. So we got as much as we could. Um, now what I do here, there's a couple ways you do it. One. I recommend gloves when you're doing this part. One, because you're going to get dye on your hands, but if you don't care about the dye, the other problem you have is- Hold it up a little higher. The white, they have like a white hairs on them that act like um, like fiber cactus, glass. like fiberglass, cactus, and I'll show you the seeds inside. Um, let me peel it. Now, as you can tell, this is the seed. Lift it up higher. And then you can actually see the white hairs on there. Yeah. Those white hairs will stick to you. So that's another reason why I wear the gloves. Um, even though these are cheap plastic gloves, sometimes if they're, if you hold them just right, you can actually feel them through the glove, but not as bad as barehanded. Pull um, another one up where we can see it. Can we find a... One that's kind of open. Let me find a big one. Here's a big one. Oh, um, no. Here's one. Okay. I do this two ways. I can do it by hand. So this is what it looks like. These are flexible. So don't be intimidated by these. All I do is get my thumb in there. I get my thumb in there. 
and peel it. I put the red shells in a Ziploc bag. It doesn't have to be perfect and then you're lucked with the seed pod. Now I'm not saving the seed pods, so I am tossing them into that basket. And they'll go into the compost. <laughs> <laughs> and now here's... another way you can do this is also i you can take a knife and score it so you just want to score it and then this will make it easier to peel and that's what you're left with and then this is the part that I will either dehydrate and use it to make teas or I will keep it fresh and use it to make jams. And that's pretty much it. So I just got to cut through this entire basket. So I pretty much, when I do this, I just sit in front of the TV, watch a show. And what have we been watching? The Masked Singer. Catching up. We're on season three. <laughs> All right, guys. This is the aftermath. All of the calluses have been taken off. These are all the seed pods. And next, I'm going to show you. I came out, I believe it's seven bags. I'll show you the bags in just a minute. Okay, guys. Here's the end result. A total of eight bags these are all gallon size and from here i'm going to just put them in the fridge so that way they'll chill for a day or two and uh, we got a cold front coming through so that'll be perfect timing for me to do anything that requires a lot of heating up um so that way the house doesn't get too hot but that is my end result for the first harvest Second, we'll probably get another two or three more harvests before the uh, plants will start dying back. Yeah, there's my... Uh... <laughs> Halloweenies, my black cat. Foxy's the other one. Halloween! She don't like it when Foxy ruins it. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Hey, guys. If you like that video, hit that like button. Remember that bell and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.